This is that BBE Sonic Maximizer again, except now there is a stereo link switch. This switch here in the back, it lets us switch between whether channel A's knobs are controlling both channels together, or the stock where you've got these two separate sets of knobs to deal with. But most of the time this fellow's gonna be in stereo and we're just gonna want this one set of knobs to handle what we want it to handle. Also nice, we've got a big, long, full bypass switch stock on this guy. 7, 8, and 7, 9 series 15 volt regulators, so that's a whole ton of bandwidth that's got going on. This wire is actually a reclaimed Univac wire from the University of Michigan from an old computer, but clean and high quality. Thank you. Stay tuned for more gizmos. Today we're going on a quick tour of the BBE Sonic Maximizer. This fella is really mysterious. A lot of people don't know what they do, but there's not a whole lot in here because all it really does is basically function as an overdrive pedal. Sound is overdriven and soft clipping occurs and harmonics are excited. And that's why it's not a whole lot different than this guy, an RL Exciter by Apex. But the BBE has much better bass response and these weird long LEDs and these chips, these custom BBE chips probably do the harmonic excitement overdrive kind of thing. And they're made by JRC, which is the company, the original op amp chip in the Ibanez Tube Screamer, the original one. This company went under and got the sound you get from this kind of harmonic is a lot like tape saturation. But things like this or, or an exciter or Ableton give you a lot more a lot more control with